Welcome to Rigging Equipment. This module covers the basics of what rigging is and the hardware used to do it. It is important to note that all connecting of hardware should be done by a competent rigger. As always, there is more than just what's covered in this video. Please do research to find out more information. What is rigging? Simply put, it is the art of lifting things off the ground. As you will see, your hardware selection will change depending on your application. It is important to note that it should always be done by someone trained and competent. And if your feet are more than 10 feet off of the ground, you should probably have a rigger do it. We use three different types of slings in entertainment rigging. Gack flex, which is a fabric outside with wire inside. Span set, which is a fabric outside with fabric inside. And steel which is wire rope with eyes in each end. Important parts of the still to know is that the eye has a thimble inside of it and is held together by a swage. Rigging is pretty much the only department where you will find a universal color code or the closest thing to it. The color of the thimble or the swage will tell you the length of the steel. Red is five foot, 20 is blue. There is, however, some variation on the 50s and the 30s. They tend to swap colors depending on where you get them. Dog bones as well can come in multiple colors. Shackles are used for connecting all of the pieces of steel together to reach the appropriate length. Steel should always be connected on the bell or the pin, but never on the sides. Deck chain or stack chain is used for making smaller moves than is available when using steel. Riggers use those slings and hardware to hang motors or chain hoist that we suspend our truss, PAs, and so much more from. Instead of using a steel basket, riggers can also use a beam clamp, which tightens down onto the overhead structure. In place of GAC flex, we also have truss picks, which clamp down onto the cords of the truss. In corporate settings, where beams may not be available, we also use air wall hangers, which hang in the air wall track, but unless secured appropriately, they will fail and people will get hurt. Tent clamps are also available for all of those big events we love to do in tents in place of steel. Sometimes using a motor isn't available, so then we use a crank up lift. These can be very dangerous and must be used by someone that knows what they're doing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Have a great day.